This screencast is on factor by grouping, and these are some simple problems that we're going to start with. So if you look at the example, we have a similar thing in each of the terms, x minus 2. So we can actually factor that out to the front, and what we're left over with are the other terms. So then we have 3 plus y there. So when we factor 3x minus 2 plus yx minus 2, we get x minus 2 times 3 plus y. Let's look at another example. At this example, we need to expand out the first term because it's a plus 4 squared. And we know when it says squared, it means write it twice. So we have a plus 4 times a plus 4. And then we keep the rest, minus 2a plus 4. This allows us to see the commonalities a bit easier. And if you look, you see that they both have an a plus 4. So we're going to bring that to the front. And then we have to see what's left behind. So there's an a plus 4 there, and there's also a minus 2. So that's going to go in the next piece, which is a plus 4 minus 2. And we can simplify that. So our full answer is a plus 4 times a plus 2. Another example may give you terms where they're not broken up by parentheses, so you have to do that yourself. So we're going to break up these first two and these last two. And we're going to say, what do the first two have in common? Ax plus Ay. Well, they both have an A. So let's bring that out. And we have A times X plus Y. And then we're going to look at our second term and say there's a plus there, so we're going to do plus we have cx plus cy. They both have a c, so there's a c, and we're left with x plus y. And now it's kind of in the format that you're used to. And we can say there's an x plus y here, an x plus y here, so we bring that out front. And then we say what is left over? Well, there's an a plus c that is left. So our answer, x plus y times a plus c. Here are two examples that I'd like you to try on your own. 8x cubed minus 64x squared plus 3x minus 24, and 4pq squared plus 2tq plus 2pq plus t. The, next, the second one's a little bit tricky. You may have to rearrange the terms to get commonalities found. Good luck!